If your child's ADHD symptoms spike out of nowhere, especially around puberty or around certain times of her menstrual cycle, this is what most parents never hear about. ADHD isn't just about dopamine, it's also about how hormones regulate that dopamine system. Estrogen actually supports dopamine production and signaling in the brain, but here's where things can get a little tricky. When estrogen levels rise too high compared to progesterone, or the body isn't metabolizing and breaking down estrogen very well, this can result in something called estrogen dominance. That imbalance doesn't just raise estrogen, it creates swings in dopamine activity, which ADHD brains are already sensitive to. And when progesterone is low, you lose its calming and stabilizing effect on the nervous system, so you can see more impulsivity, mood swings, and emotional reactivity. This isn't just a girl thing either. Environmental estrogens like plastic exposure and detoxification issues mean that boys can show similar ADHD symptom spikes. Balancing estrogen is about restoring the ratio of estrogen and progesterone and supporting healthy hormone metabolism so that dopamine stays stable and your child's brain can actually regulate. What are your thoughts about estrogen dominance and ADHD? Comment below and let me know.